Hello everyone, this is Yongjie. Today, I'm going to present its math, exploring mobile acoustic field for hand-to-face gesture interactions. Hand-to-face gestures play an important role in how we communicate and control devices in our daily lives. Let's look at their key attributes. First, they are natural and easy to use. You can quickly perform tasks and learn gestures without much effort. They offer incredible convenience too. You can interact with technology freely, no matter where you are, without needing special equipment. These gestures are also adaptable. They can be customized to fit each user's preference and actions. And they are also versatile. For example, with a simple gesture, you can skip a song on your playlist. They also enhance virtual environments as well, like VR and AR, by making the experience more interactive. Plus, they help us maintain good hygiene by reducing the need to touch our faces. It is an essential benefit for public health. Overall, hand-to-face gestures make interacting with our technology smoother and more intuitive. Let's talk about how we recognize hand-to-face gestures nowadays. For example, face sight. It places the camera onto your glasses to notice when your hand is near your face. But this vision-based methods can be heavy on processing power and cost. Not to mention they often struggle with poor lighting or if something else in the way. And there's always that worry about privacy for the users. Then, there are some texts like face guard or face touch, which rely on IMU or vibration sensors to feel when your hand touches your face. They are a bit simpler, but come with their own trade-offs, like not being as quick to respond or missing the mark on more complicated gestures. Recently, the emerging Eurobell-based solution has shown great efforts for hand-to-face gestures. For example, EarBody. It uses microphones in noise-canceling earphones to pick up the sound of gestures near the face and the ears. And FaceSense brings a new twist with thermal sensing earbuds for recognizing gestures. Although these Eurobell technologies are quite inventive, they are not without their challenges. For instance, they are not that great at picking up gestures that happen above the face. On the other hand, free digital gets creative by incorporating proximity sensors into the earbuds for finger gesture for finger gestures close to the ear without any contact. And the Sony ASL uses a unique setup with a speaker and a microphone to interpret sign language for those who are deaf. This approach is broader how we can interact, but also bring the challenge of integrating more complex hardware of dedicated sensors. So, based on previous work contributions and limitations, we have a question. Can we design a system that able to detect hand-to-face gestures, whether in contact with the face or above it, using widely accessible commodity earphones? We have observed something fascinating. When we put a speaker near our face and play music, there is a distinct reaction. The sound causes a subtle vibration in the skin surface e tissue, and a portion of the signal's energy slightly leaks into the surrounding air. This phenomenon is explained by two types of signal behaviors. One is a surface acoustic wave that travels along the surface of the elastic material. And another one is the leaky surface acoustic wave which is an acoustic wave partially transfer the energy into the adjacent medium. Building on this observation, we see that these signals create an acoustic field around the user's head. 
The headset, being both convenient and portable, allows this acoustic field to move with the user. That's the reason we have named this phenomenon as the mobile acoustic field, or MAF. To better understand the principle behind these waves, let's look at a common example from nature in semiology, earthquake. Earthquake creates a surface wave that travel along the Earth's surface. These are known as the relay wave. But there's more. Some of the energy from relay waves also spreads into nearby areas. This spreading is what we call a leaky surface wave. Inspired from this natural phenomenon, we have identified a novel application. By using the concept of surface and leaky acoustic waves, we have found a unique opportunity with bone conduction interference to build this mobile acoustic field. With this acoustic field established by bone conduction interference, let's pivot back to the hand-to-face gestures. Our research has shown that these different gestures within this field can cause notable changes. Essentially, gestures close to or near the face can alter the patterns of both surface and leaky acoustic wave signals. Now, let's show the examples what happens when we touch our face. We have observed that in the frequency domain, this action introduces a distinct signal alteration. And what if we perform the approaching gestures? We also see a clear signal when there is a gesture moving toward the face. From red figures, we can see that user gestures performed on or in the vicinity of the face can perturb the channel of the surface and leaky acoustic wave signals. Let's explore how the map performs with various signal settings and distances for better understanding. Our goal is to find the right balance. We need a strong signal for accurate detection, but not so intense that it bothers human ears. We had a participant perform approaching gestures toward their face 20 times. The findings were clear. The math worked best when the transmitted signal was at 45 dB SPL or above it, particularly for gestures near the left side of the face and at a distance of about 5 cm. Next, we focused on defining the gestures. To do this, we brought in 22 participants to help us select a dozen of gestures. Each person wore commercial bone connection earphones and performed each gesture. After that, they filled out a questionnaire using a Leclerc scale. This helped us determine which gestures were user-friendly, and the questionnaire covered four areas – simplicity, social acceptability, fatigue, and ambiguity. Looking at the questionnaire results displayed in this graph, we see that a higher score is better, but gesture C and gesture F receive the lowest scores. Because most users found them annoying, based on this feedback, we refined our original 12 gestures down to a more user-friendly set of 10. After analyzing the questionnaire results, and refining our gesture site. We shift our focus to the system design for gesture detection and recognition. Our system consists of two key components. In the first step of signal preprocessing, we chose a single tongue inaudible probing signal at 18 kHz as our transmission signal. Second, we adopt several filters to filter our gesture signals. To be specific, we use the bandpass and band stops filters to filter the original probing signal. And we applied an advanced VNA filter to avoid environmental noise. 
The final step of the signal processing pipeline is using a KL divergence segmentation with a 2.5 second window to fully segment a gesture. For the second step of our system design, we focused on gesture classification. We utilized a deep neural network model. This model includes five layers of convolutional neural networks and a bidirectional long short-term memory layer to accurately recognize different gestures. We chose a short-term Fourier transform spectrogram as our model input because it offers a rich blend of time and frequency information. To ensure the model's reliability and avoid overfitting, we implemented several methods, leave one out cross-validation, L2 regularization, and combine early stopping with dropout layers. In the final evaluation, our system showed impressive performance. In validation tests, it achieved a 92% accuracy rate in recognizing 10 different gestures. We also leveraged a live one out approach to test the system performance across various users. The results were promising. The recognition accuracy remained consistently high, exceeding 91% for all users. For more in-depth information about our benchmarks and methodologies, please refer to the detailed explanations in our paper. This is a demonstration showcasing the recognition of different gestures. In summary of our work, we have identified a new hand-to-face gesture interaction method, and the system can achieve a high accuracy about 92% on the validation set. The last thing, we also evaluated user acceptance and attitude involving 22 participants. Thanks for your watching.